the game starts off with Nero, Dante, and some anime girls fighting the Demon King and immediately losing. V, who doesn't seem very interested in women anyway, decides we should leave them behind. I have plans for the both of you. I think we all know where this is going, so let's just skip to the end. We do a superhero landing. Woo! Superhero landing! Quickly followed by a superhero retreat as tentacles stab people to death. Shortly after that, the game explains how Nero lost his arm. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Making Devil May Cry 5 the second game released in one month where the protagonist has a prosthetic arm with a grappling hook. Pussy. Though Nero has much cooler prosthetics and uses them in very different ways. Nico obsesses over finding new materials throughout the game so that she can make more of these prosthetics. Did you just sniff that? Do you have any idea where that's been? Up your butt? Ha! <laughs> If you use them creatively enough, the game will reward you with higher scores. Then there's V, the emo kid that travels with a raven and a walking cane while reciting poetry in open-toed sandals. His fighting style consists of memorizing My Chemical Romance lyrics and generally being useless while his animals do all the work until he finally feels like transforming. To go even further beyond. And they still doesn't help, he can just summon a third Pokemon. I choose your you can attack things with your cane, but your arms have the strength of pool noodles. Badass, are you, are you sure? Unfortunately, your summons barely attack unless you give yourself carpal tunnel by clicking both the attack buttons endlessly throughout the fight. You'll also constantly be treated to his one-liners that would make even a goth teenager at Hot Topic cringe. What evil lurks? I must destroy. I just want you to stop saying odd shit. By the end of it, you'll be begging to go back to playing as Nero. Please don't tell me I have to play as emo boy. Please, no. Don't do this to me. No! Eventually, you reunite with the two anime girls you left behind earlier. Oh, anime pussy! And outside of a few minor dialogue scenes, they do nothing for the entire game. Milady? Well, shut up, cane boy! Eventually, you'll get to play as Dante, who gets the more interesting weaponry. From two halves of a motorcycle, to nunchucks, to a Michael Jackson hat. Which, of course, when used, sits on your opponent's head throughout the fight. Eventually, you find out that V didn't stand for very emo, but in fact stands for Virgil, and you inadvertently helped merge his two forms. They played us like a damn fiddle! A sibling rivalry ensues until Nero breaks it up and they decide to close the demon portal instead. And then finally, it wraps up with what happens to the other characters afterward. What is important is I have a job for you two. And then roll credits. <laughs>